Hello friends, this video on Neural Control and Coordination Part 13 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. That is what we will now talk about in the conduction of action potential. This is also known as the repolarized state. Now this is going to be interesting and also your concepts will become clearer now. Okay. So, so far we understood the depolarized state. Now the action potential which was generated in the region A now shifts to region B. So the region where I told you that the action potential is getting generated, that is region A. So now in the previous slide I told you that in region A, due to a rapid influx of sodium ion, the inner surface become positively charged and the outer surface becomes negatively charged. But for the neighboring region B, the, the charges are the same as was in the resting phase, that is outer surface positively charged and inner surface negatively charged. Now we have to see how this action potential moves from region A to region B. Now, if you compare the inner surface of region A with the inner surface of region B, what do you see? That a gradient has developed. So, on one side there is positive charge, on the other side there is negative charge. So, what will happen? In this case, there will be a current flow from region A to region B. So, there will be a current flow from region A to region B because of this gradient which has developed. Now, this will happen towards the inner surface and what will happen on the outer surface? On the outer surface, it will just be the opposite. In the outer surface, current will flow from region A, region B to region A and this is how the circuit will get completed. Inner side A to B, outer side B to A. Right? Now, this is how, now when this happens, what will happen? The inner surface of B will now become positively charged and the outer surface of B will now become negatively charged. And what happens to the previous region A? It again goes back to its polarized state, the first state that is inside it will be negative and outside it will be positive. And that is why it is said to be the repolarized state because first step was the resting state where it was polarized. The next step was the generation of action potential where the polarity got reversed. So that was the depolarized. And now again, the polarity again gets reversed and that is why it is repolarized. So first it is polarized, then depolarized and then repolarized. But meanwhile, if you see that this potential difference which was actually existing in case of A, which we call as action potential, that same potential difference gets shifted from A to B. Right? Now once the current flows from A to B on the inner side and B to A on the outer side, then gradually what will happen? That this region B will tend to have positive on the inner side and it will have negative on the outer side and this difference will be the action potential. So this difference will become action potential and then again the same process will take place between region B and region C and that is how the action potential will get transmitted from one part of the neuron to towards the other and that is how the uh, information will be transmitted throughout the length of the axon. So this shifting continues throughout the length of the axon and this is how conduction of impulses occur. Now one important thing to be noticed here is now we understood that how the action potential is shifting from one region to another but what is happening to the region which is left behind now when the action potential has shifted from a to b after that what happens to region a that is something interesting and that is something important to understand so let us have a look at this that what happens to the region a once conduction of impulses start to take place Okay, so this was the first scenario when the action potential got generated. This is region A. So this portion is region A. So due to influx of the ions, lot of positive charges inside, due to influx of sodium ions, so inside it becomes positively charged and outside became negatively charged. Now as a result, what happened? Current started to flow from region A to region B in the inside and outside from region B to region A. So till this point it is clear. 
but this influx of sodium ion due to the stimulus is quite short lived it doesn't happen throughout like after some time it will stop now as soon as the action potential is conducted from region a to region b then the potassium ion permeability of region a increases and therefore potassium ion outflux start to occur just to balance the influx of sodium ion and the outflux of the potassium ion so that will balance each other therefore the inner membrane again becomes negative and the outer membrane becomes positive so the resting potential membrane potential is retained and what happens we say that it is repolarized right now as long as sodium ions are coming in the inside will be positive and the outside will be negative but that is short lived it will happen only for a small amount of time now once the influx has taken place then the current flow will take place from a to b so the action potential will get conducted from region a to region b that is also clear after that in the region a the permeability of potassium ion will increase and therefore the potassium ions will be sent outside just to balance the positive charges now these potassium ions will be sent outside and finally what will happen a lot of positive ions will be sent outside so finally again the inner side of the membrane will be negatively charged and the outer side will be positively charged and the potential difference will become equal to the resting membrane potential and then we say that it is repolarized so it came back to the polarized state once again that is why repolarized and this is how the entire process of conduction will take place again from b to c from c to d so this is how the movement will take place and this is how the repolarized state will be achieved for each of them so now you understand that how action potential is generated how the action potential is con conducted so basically the generation and conduction of action potential through neurons take place in three steps so what are those three steps the first step is the polarized state the second state is the depolarized state and the third step is the repolarized step so these are the three steps by which action potential gets generated and conducted along a neuron now now you have another question that how are the impulses transmitted from one neuron to another so till now we were talking about only one neuron that how the impulse conduction takes place along the length of the axon because the axon is quite long so how will how the conduction takes place throughout the length of axon that is clear to us now how it happens by the process of action potential but how the impulses are transmitted from one neuron to another neuron i mean how that process of jumping of the impulses from the axon endings of one neuron to the dendrites of the other neuron that part take place so that is what we will study thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online test get free study material find tutors and mentors thank you once again